Hello, hello everyone. Welcome Ta -da. back to another Walt Disney World vlog. Day four. Yep. Day four, and we're going to Hollywood Studios again. Day two. <laughs> yeah, day two of <laughs> day four, Hollywood Studios part two. Yep. So today we got a boarding group. <laughs> yeah, we got a boarding group, and we are group number 80. 80. 80. So it is 12:13. We're gonna hit the bus. That's where we're heading right now, right over there. And then we are gonna check into Hollywood Studios and go ride Rise of the Resistance. All right, so we will see you guys there. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So now we gotta head over to Rise of the Resistance. Yeah. They are boarding our group now, and we will take you along for that ride. Let's go. Blue 
too far. I'm gonna try to draw the point. Probably not. Give us clear so we can make the jump. Be ready, you won't have much time. Where are all those TIE fighters coming from? One of them will star destroyers. We can't. We're caught in the tractor beam. It's pulling us in. Identify yourselves. Prepare to be boarded. This is TR-141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance Scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. Now click it there. Tell them the location of our secret base. Tell them nothing. The future of the Resistance is at stake. I have a bad feeling about this.
down to the escape points. The resistance will attempt to rescue the prisoners. They have neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields! Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Down the alarm! All personnel to their stations! The prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. Fire the petrol cannons! How'd you like Rise of the Resistance? I always love that ride. For the second time. I don't fully understand what's going on in it, but as a ride, it's super fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I liked it a lot. I like the the depth of it. There's mm -hmm. just so many nooks and crannies to, to figure out. And it's so intricate and yeah. And we got to see the, well, we got to, it's actually kind of a downgrade, but we, we saw the second version where Kylo Ren is out <laughs> okay. in the ship and not, you know, messing with the, with the pods or whatever they're called. It was fun. Finally got to ride it again. Oh, in like first time in over a year. It broke down at the very end, yeah. but we were already done with the important part, so it was fine. Yeah. All in all, great ride, best ride, probably one of the best rides ever. That's a good one. Yeah. Okie doke. Let's go find some water to to wet your towel. Okay. We got these, uh, what are these called? I don't know, cool towels, I think. Cool towels. And apparently a lot of people use them out here in Florida. We haven't really needed them just yet, but it we're gonna is gonna, try it out. Yeah, it's gonna start getting hot here in the next couple of days. So uh, we're gonna find some water and see how well this works. Bye friends. Bye friends. Cool towel acquired. It's pretty cool. So we had a great second ride on Mickey's Runaway Railway. We did. That was great because we caught it right as it was reopening. So it was we, a super short wait. Yeah, it was like a 15, 20 minute wait. Just as good as the first time. Yeah. And then we ran to the ABC commissary to sit down inside in some air conditioning. You have to mobile order to get in. Yeah, so we did a little mobile order, got a couple drinks, sat down in the AC for a half hour. And now we're in Galaxy's Edge because I have a Ronto wrap that I will review in a few. 
<laughs> and Becky got some food at Woody's lunchbox that we're gonna go pick up. So we will see you guys in just a moment. Okay, that tray doesn't look like it fits with this land. It doesn't. I did a lot of walking to get this tray. Because <laughs> you're from where? Where'd you get it from? Um, it is from Woody's Lunchbox, the Boy Story land. And what is it? Mm, I got the barbecue brisket melt, which is, I'll tell you all about it, shredded smoked brisket, pickles, a tangy barbecue sauce between melted cheddar and Monterey Jack on a grilled sourdough bread. Mm. And then um, it comes with, what do they call it? Look how, look how, look how long this is. Look how cheesy. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It was $12.99. Let's see if it's worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super good. Mm -hmm. The meat isn't like super dried. But it's also not like overly saucy. So it's a nice middle, and then you can actually taste the pickles, which is nice. They don't get thrown out. Mm. It's pretty tasty though. Do you want to try it? Yeah. I wasn't quite sure exactly what you got, and you probably told me. I didn't tell you. Oh, okay. Because I thought you. I thought you'd be excited about it and I wanted to surprise you. I looked at the menu and I was like, oh my god, I hope she got that. I did. <laughs> mm. Right? It has good flavor. Yeah, you can taste like all the flavors. Yeah. That's so good. Um, so I can't help but notice we're not in Toy Story Land. But your tray does seem to match. So, what is it here that you have? Okay, so we're in Docking Bay 7. They also sell Ronto wraps, but when you order the Ronto wrap from here, you get these chips along with it. And I need to double check what they're made of. Okay, so this is the Ronto wrap, the ultra famous Ronto wrap. <laughs> I can't even say it right. Ronto wrap. Ronto wrap. Ronto wrap. Oh, God. If oh, you, it appeared. If you can't say it, you can't eat it. <laughs> Ronto wrap. Ronto wrap? Ronto wrap. Got it. <laughs> so it's roasted pork, grilled pork sausage, peppercorn sauce, and tangy slaw in a pita bread. And it, the chips are plantain and assorted root vegetable chips. So it could okay. be like maybe uh, sweet potatoes, taro root, plantains obviously, those types of ginger root maybe? Maybe. We'll have to see. Um, but I'm going to try this. It's been long awaited. Everybody says it's amazing, so here we go. <laughs> Such deep thoughts happening after that first bite. Does it live up to the hype? Mm -hmm. fan of any type of slaw. Like coleslaw is one of the one of the many overlooked things that I, I feel like just it's underrated. Yeah, underrated. But the pork sausage is really good. You can barely taste the other pork. It might be because I let it sit for a little bit. Because you're waiting on me. Yeah. <laughs> the sauce is good, the slaw is good, and in a pita pita bread, oh man. Yes. Super good. And then these chips don't even taste like roots. <laughs> I would hope not. Like, so these are the plantains, which if you don't know what a plantain is, it's similar to a banana, but usually it's fried, and you can dip them in like caramel sauce or whatever as a dessert. I'm not a big fan of that, but plantain chips, yes, they're really good. And then these blue ones must be the other roots. Ten out of ten. Awesome. Great. 
It's really nice that they have a seating area, like a little courtyard out here. So if you're willing to bear the heat, you can sit outside. Now that lunch is over, we're going on star tours. We're gonna try and not throw up our lunch. We're not gonna throw up our lunch, it was too expensive. <laughs> Okay, so we forgot to talk about Star Tours real quick, but what do you think? I mean, I've been on it a lot of times, but it was still fun. Mm -hmm. I had a great time. Yeah, it was definitely a different yeah. version. Yeah, I hadn't around. seen those scenes, most of those scenes before. Yeah, I think there's like 60 different scenes you can go on, but finally got like a different one, and maybe it's just because we're in Disney World, but. Oh, yeah, that could be it. Yeah. It was fun though. Yeah. I didn't get to be the spy. <laughs> So that was a downer. I've never got to be the spy. Comment down below if you've got to be the spy before. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear the music right there, but we are in line for Rock and Roller Coaster. We're going to try and hit this this time and actually not get, get out of the line. Yeah, not get yeah. out of the line and ruin it. Um, not sure how much we can film on it or if we'll Probably be able to all. get any audio, but uh, we'll, we'll just see you afterwards. Yeah. Alright, so we got off a rock and roller coaster and got a treat. It was a lot more fun than I remember it from Paris. I remember it being fun, but when I when we were on it, I just kept thinking this is so similar to um, Space Mountain, but like a rock and roll Space Mountain and it goes upside down. Yeah. It's like two inversions, I yeah, think. Yeah, at least. Um, but I I love that ride. Yeah, that was super fun. I I'm glad we actually got to go on it because last time we got out of line and regretted it. So um, now we are going to probably head out of here. And you want to ride the Skyliner again? Yeah. I mean, if it's not crowded. Yeah. We're the trying to open. leave a little early so we can get over there before the line forms. The park is open for a little over an hour more. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't be too crowded yet. Um, but we'll go check. I mean, if it is, we'll just take the bus back to the hotel, but if it's not, we'll ride it around. Yeah. It's your oh, song. Man. I forgot to voice my anger. Your anger? At the ice cream shop. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I had... tried telling them we got treats, but then you started talking about the ride. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I went to this ice cream shop because I had some kind of peanut butter blast. I'll put it, it up had, on the screen it right had now. peanut butter cake on top, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it was some kind of shake. It was like, $10, I go to the window because it's not listed on their menu, and she's like, I don't know what that is. And then when we're done after, we're done eating all our ice cream, <laughs> this girl walks by with like two of them. And I'm like, hey, what the heck? They just didn't like you. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. But your, the ice cream you got was delicious. Yeah, it was good. Okay. <laughs> it's reassuring. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, it was, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, we've left. Well, we're out of the park. They won't let us back in. <laughs> So as we head back to Hollywood Studios on the Skyliner, we are going to bid a grand farewell. This and brings our video to an end. Yeah, we are glad that you're watching us if you are. We hope you had fun with us. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below what your favorite parts of the video were. Or, or what your favorite parts of Hollywood Studios are. Yeah. Or like what we should do next time if we miss something. Oh yeah. We probably walked past so many things that everybody, that you guys Hidden might secrets. be. Hey, why didn't you go there? What? Yeah. Go there. What are you doing? <laughs> well, we'll just have to get them next time. You just have to tell us about it in the comment section now. Oh, for sure. So again, don't forget to subscribe. 
like the video because it helps us out. And we will get, see you guys next time. What is it? Day five? Day five. Yeah. Day five, we will be in Animal Kingdom. And a lot of people say that that's their favorite park. So who knows? We'll find out. See you guys next time. Bye. If you get stuck up here like for hours and hours, do they try and get you down or they just like leave you up here? I don't know. I think that happened one time. Like, well, the two times that they crashed into each other, they... Because I would never climb down this pole thing with, with the ladder. Yeah, no, I don't think they do that. I think they... It's too dangerous. There's probably a certain amount of time you can stay in this before they have to, like, bring you down, but... I would just be like, leave me here, it's fine, I'll sleep here. <laughs> Fix it tomorrow. Bring me snacks.